hey sis what is going on my dears treat me nice please it is me it is she it is viva it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for february 2021 baby we in here to have some fun shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to all my babies who have liked shared and subscribed and clicked this video thank you so much for showing me love if there's anybody that would like to book a personal and private reading go ahead and click the description box of this video or check out the about tab on my youtube page it gives you all of my information to connect with me the booking price list all of that the best way to get in contact with me is to shoot me a message over at instagram messenger if you don't have instagram email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com you guys before we get into the reading today i just want to say um i'm sending all of my prayers out to the state of texas if there's anyone in the state of texas that watches this video know that we are all praying for you and we are wishing you guys the best um and even if you don't know anybody in texas just you know still put your praying hand on them right now because they need our positive energy right now they're going through a lot down there in texas so i just wanted to send my heart out to you guys and just let you know that you know people are thinking about you and you know we, we, we have y'all in our hearts. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. So, shout out to Texas. All right. So, before we um, get into today's festivities, let's, you know, do what we always do. Give Father God, you know, the universe, um, whatever you want to call him acknowledgement and praise before we get into today's message so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of pisces you know we are here just trying to show up and show out father god we are standing in the line we're waiting for our number to be called father god we have been being patient we got all our paperwork together we know all of our lines we're ready to you know audition father god we are definitely ready to audition father god we thank you so much for just putting us in the place and just like this pedestal, Father God, so that people can really see us for what we are, so that we can shine like a diamond, Father God. People don't even understand just like what that true diamond in the rough is. We done been through so much, but right now it is time to just make it digital. It's time for people to be able to see and believe everything that we have, you know, like all of the skills, all of the talents, all of the blessings. It's time for everyone want to just behold you know what we've been holding inside so father god please you know give us encouragement you know when it gets time for our number to be called let us to you know go in there with confidence and pride and just go in there and again show up and show out and you know everything that you wish for shall be yours in the name of jesus amen amen and amen all right pisces let's see what you want in here to audition for. I don't know why that's what I was seeing, but that's what I was seeing. Alright, so let's see what we got going on with Pisces for February. Let's see. Pisces, February. Alright. You guys got the change card. Change. <clears throat> Don't scare yourself with <laughs> the next 40 steps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say two. Just show me the first step and change me into the one who can take it don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps all you need is that one next action you can say to love just show me the first step and change me into the one who can take it hmm so it's like I know what I need to do but it's actually doing it that's the problem like it's easier said to, than done like anyone could just say okay you could do this to change you need to do this to change but okay 
what's the first step to me to do that? I feel like you guys just don't know what the next step is. Night of Inspiration. Okay. Hmm. So it seems like in order for this change to happen in your life, it's something that's going to have to take place to just, you know, get your passions running again. I don't know. Like, you could have just felt like you've had, like, a writer's block, tongue-tied. I'm getting, like, a writer's block. It's like someone felt like they've lost their vision. They lost their creativity for some reason. Um, there's There's has it been like nothing to write about no excitement or something but this seems like something's going to take off very fast very quickly like the knight of wands is something that i like a lot of time it doesn't even have a plan of action it just happens kind of like you know like it just happened like something like you were just in the store and you just bumped into the right person that just so happened to be connected with this person that was connected with this person that gave them your information and told them that you did this. And the next thing you know, you had an interview um, to audition for this and this and that and you were on a TV show. <laughs> like, you feel... <sighs> okay. And you got the two of materials. So I'm liking this. So you got change. You got the knight of wands. You got the two of coins. So this is basically saying something is about to happen very quickly. Very quickly. And again, it's going to be a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend who told them about you. You're going to get the audition and you're going to go in there and kill it. And the next thing you know, it's like you're sitting here having to juggle like this new existence in life. And like having to balance all of this, like, I don't want to say like responsibility, but to me, the two of pentacles is change and responsibility, you know, like balancing the old with the new. Could you imagine like legitimately you're just a normal individual one day and because you just had one conversation it changed your whole life and here you are sitting here trying to figure out i'm i'm not just who i was anymore i am this per you know i'm this person now like i'm on tv like i'm not famous but i'm sem i'm semi i can't just go to the grocery store anymore you know, it's like something that happened that quickly because people do become like overnight sensations like that. You got the ten of voice and the reverse injustice. So, yes, this is good. So, like, you could be over like a point of failure in your life. Like, whatever happened and it happened to teach you life lessons and how to pick up and keep going. You got that justice card there that is like, you see how this, this is old layers of old skins that have been peeled back there. So it's like you learn whatever this failure was, whatever this you experienced in um, a point in time in your life where you needed to change faces, you needed to shed some skin. So you wouldn't have had the growth that you've had the maturity you know things wouldn't have got balanced in the way that they were you wouldn't be able to handle the things that are coming into your life now if you wouldn't have had that experience in your life if you would not have progressed if you would have not have matured you would not be given the blessings that you have right now so this is like karmic justice because you did what you needed to do to peel those layers back to get to the new me you feel what i'm saying all right to get to the fresh meat, to get to that soft skin. Do you understand? You peeled all that dead skin back. Everything is looking beautiful. 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 And all of that stuff you went through, that was in the past. So this is karma coming and changing those cycles because what goes up must come down and what goes down must, you know, arise and must fall. So things are going up for you. Things are changing. And I like this. I like this. Let's see what's going on here. A lot of balance and financial things. A lot of skills. Like you're able to like truly show your skills and your abilities right there with that two of pentacles. Um, something that you have been studying and that you've been learning for a while. It's something that you 
you've been mastering this skill or this craft to the point where like you could almost teach it. So it, it kind of seems like something kind of just changed overnight, but it really didn't because you've been doing this shit for a long time. I want to say with possibly no recognition or something like that, or just like, yeah, like no notoriety for it, but it's just like something just blows up. It's like something just blows up. It's just like one video took off. One, it's like one thing just changed your fucking life. And you could have been doing this shit for years. You could have felt like shit, I might have had certain failures. But one night changed your life. And just don't be scared to take the next step. That's what they're saying, except the change. So what is this going on? And then you got the despair at the bottom of the deck. So like, this is beneath you. This is so far down all the way down at the bottom you got so many other blessings and things piled on over top of that old pit of despair and misery and all of that you got so many things that god has piled on top of that where you don't even think about that anymore doesn't that feel good that feels so good what is this you got in prison pathway and then you got the courtship card hmm this is like saying someone is like locked into some type of connection where they can't like gain freedom out of in some type of way. What does that have to do with this? This could be that. Is this what this Ten of Swords is about? Because, you know, imprisonment can mean a lot of things. It could mean, like, your mental thoughts because that's what that ten of voices right there. Like, if that ended, that ended for a reason. Um, it's like some people are in your life for a reason and for a season. And they're not meant to be around when certain blessings come in and changes come into your life. You know? So, it's like, if you are allowing, like, something in the past, like, to just, like, taint taint your thinking where it's like you cannot stop it's like you just seem trapped and just keep thinking about this old relationship or something and it's like th this path it seems like it seems like one that this person is trying to get out but they don't know how to remove their self from ever thinking about this person Because I'm, I'm serious. It's like something is over. Or this could just absolutely not have one thing to do with the other. No, I think that this has to do with this. It's because it freed up your pathway. Someone felt trapped in some type of relationship. Or some type of, I don't even want to necessarily put this in regards, I mean it says courtship, so I mean we're going to take it for what it is. It says courtship. Courtship. Someone felt trapped here. They won't let me go, I won't let them go. But honestly, when I'm seeing imprisonment, it's like this person will not release me. And it's like I'm trying to find my way out, but how can I do that? Let's clarify this real quick. Because I definitely don't feel like, I mean, and it could be some change. It's like, once you finally get that inspiration, that thought, that mind, that adrenaline, it's like you could bust out of that imprisonment and take off like a fucking rocket. <laughs> it's like I finally got change. I finally got balance. I don't have someone trying to hold me down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm finally receiving my justice. Like, those terrible days are over like uh you know it's over like i'm finally being released like i can live again you know what i'm saying like i don't ever have to think about that i don't ever have to envision that i don't ever have to be that anymore i'm finally go i'm finally gone you know let's just clarify this clarify the pathway 
the courtship and the imprisonment. The four of materials. So yeah, this is like anything else. Okay. So you got the four of materials, you got the two of cups, and then you got the seven of wands. Alright, so the four of pentacles is someone that it's been keeping something back but holding something to their self and keeping a reserve. They could really love this person a whole lot, but there's a lot of conflict in this relationship. A lot of conflict here. It's either um, something that you were trying out and you love and you... Um, I don't want to say it's like you were inspired by the situation. It's something that you have... Because to me, to be inspired by something is something that you never even thought of. And then you see someone doing something. It's like, wow, I'm inspired. I, now I want to... You know what I'm saying? Something I never thought of before. You inspired me to do something. No. this If this has nothing to do with love, this is something that you have like a natural gift at. This is something that you have a natural gift in. And it's like, you love this thing that you could, like, say you like making music or dancing or writing poetry or something, right? Right? So, say you went and you were trying to be a poet before, but you just could not find a way to make money doing poetry where it was able to take care of your family so it's like you felt like failure and ruin because of that you know because it's like you could have went through something where you were a starving artist and you failed you know what i'm saying right now you are trying to remain balanced and just trying to keep your dignity you know what i'm saying just staying focused on faith and just keeping your best foot forward and just putting in energy into something that's going to give you the same type of reciprocated energy back like you could have just released yourself from some shit where it was like you could have been tied to your connection to this passion to this lust to this love you know you could have felt like me being a, a poet that's my soul that's my bond you know what i'm saying i'm connected you know what i'm saying in such a way that i don't want to work a nine to five job i'd rather be a starving artist so it's like you could be in prison and keep court in that thought in your mind that you wanted to do that shit so much you know what i'm saying it's like you wouldn't let the thought go of you know you say like you just keep entertaining it you know but it's like you can't you can't find the way there to fully be free, but you're trapped in your mind. It's like, I want this. I This is, you know, like, this is what I want. This is what I want. So, if you have something that you really have a natural gift, like to me, the Two of Cups is like, this is a soul calling. It's something your soul longs to do. You find emotional freedom there. I feel like you've been holding back your gift in doing this and trying to find balance and check. I feel like there's someone trying to change with the time. Look, I can't focus on doing that right now. Right now, I need money. I need whatever I'm doing. Whatever I put out is going to come back in. And it's like I'm saving every penny of every dollar that I make. You know, so maybe eventually you can invest in your passion. But right now, it's causing too much conflict in your life. You know, it's like when you allow your mind to be entrapped here with this thought of entertaining in court and this idea of, or I'd rather be a starving artist and all that. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'd rather be a starving artist, but you cannot find a way to successfully pull this off. That's why all this darkness is being pushed away because this is what builds struggle, worry. When if I just focus my energy, and it's just like I'm pushing it away. It's like I can't do that right now. I can't entertain that right now. Like that's basically what I'm getting. Someone is finding something here that is giving them some type of balance. Some type of balance. And I want to say it's like 
Because seriously, that's, that's just like me. Shoot. If I could, I would sit here and do my tarot, do the morning slide, do my personal, do the things that I love to do that makes me feel happy and whole. But it don't keep the, you know, like I live in Washington, D.C. Do y'all have any idea how much rent is or, you know, how much of, you can't even buy a house for less than $500,000 in Washington, D.C. And that's a house that's some shit. So do you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, regardless of what I want to do. And yeah, I love this and I would love to entertain and court this idea. But this this pathway is not going, it's going to bring me, it's going to bring me more grief. You know what I'm saying? And I can't really give to my art because if I got so much trouble, you know what I'm saying? Because this is like drama. It is like people's thoughts of you. and like, Because have you ever tried to focus only on what you believe in and other people don't believe it? So you got to deal with an encore of everybody's thoughts and opinions. and uh, It's like, I don't even want to deal with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Listen, let me just get a normal 9 to 5 motherfucker job, which is good, which is thriving. And it makes me feel actually balanced and healthy. And I'm taking care of myself. I got to ask nobody for shit. That way, if I want to do this over here, I could do it and ain't got to worry about nobody because I'm taking care of myself. And then I got this over here and then boom. Once I'm doing this and I'm everything is fucking level. Like I said, justice. Everything is balanced. Everything is level. Boom. I'm just going in the store and I meet this person and I'm talking to them about X, Y, Z. And then this ended up becoming more important than this. So no matter if these people believed in me or not, they don't have no choice but to believe in me. You see what I'm saying? Because God believed in me. And he's allowing me to have the gift of both. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Okay, whatever. 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 Let's get into the love. But yeah, I definitely feel with that four of material right there. Um, you guys have been holding in all of the good stuff. You guys have been saving your money. I definitely feel like you guys have been saving your money. And it's because you want to be able to take everything that you have when the time is right and pour into that opportunity that will last for a lifetime. Something that is like a true, true connection. It's like you may be holding out and waiting for that. Otherwise, like I'm standing up for myself. I'm blocking out all negativity. I'm letting the sun shine on me. I'm just doing things the right way and the balanced way. Because it's like I'm trying to. And I feel like someone is holding back. They're holding back and holding off. You could be holding off to helping other people because you have your own passions that you are looking towards pouring your investments and your money into. So I don't I'm not in the, I'm not in the industry of helping people right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to pave my own path. So like and I really don't care what you guys are having to say. If I'm not asking you for no help, you really don't have no leg to stand on to tell me about shit. Okay. We got Greta Garbo. Are you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? Uh, only go to the altar if you can take the lead. Marriage isn't the only way to have a partner for life. Marriage isn't the only way to have a partner for life. Remember, it's like, it's. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's you guys are holding yourself back with this four of pentacles right here in this two of cups. You are holding yourself back and it's like you're backing off unworthy people competing to be in a place. In, it's like you can't, you, if you can't give me this, I don't want it. That's period. I'm holding myself back. I'm keeping all my goodness to myself. Because I'm looking for soul connection. Listen. Are you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? I'm good on my own for right now. I ain't got no time for no drama. Only thing I want is peace and love. That's it. That's all I got time for. 
That's all I got time for. And again, I do feel like, and I believe I said this when I first seen this. It's like someone's trapped in their mind. So I, I'm getting two things. Someone's in a relationship that they're trapped in and they can't get out of and they can't figure out how to get out of there. And someone is trapped with the thought of wanting to be in a relationship but has no way how to take the first step to even accomplish getting there. That's why it was saying change. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is to take the next one action. Can you say to love, just show me the first step and change me into who can take it? Change me into who can take the step. Because there's something about, you know what the step is, but can you change yourself that you'll be able to take the step? That's the thing. And again, it's like, I'm also getting like it's someone that is t trapped and tangled up in this relationship, this thought about this relationship towards someone that they should not go towards because the pathway is in the reverse. It's like, it's, mm-mm, mm-mm, it's something about conflict and drama, mm-mm, and you need soulmate, you need to hold out and wait. And be patient and reserve yourself. Like, reserve yourself. You can't just keep giving yourself to something that is not free flowing. Look, this is free flowing. This is beautiful. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Give me guidance for my Pisces in love, please. Alright. You got the golden mirror. So this is like this this is a like a one sided relationship to me. It says self absorbed narcissist. Narcissist, one sided relationship, love bombing. The golden mirror. You got love. So you're in love with someone who really just loves their reflection and doesn't see your love. And in the mirror and then talking. It's something about that. Are you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? I really do feel like in love that there's a there's a situation that you should not be going towards. It's like you keep I don't want to say that, but it's like someone put some type of love potion number 6 on your ass. <laughs> like I don't know, it's like You cannot get over the thought of not being in this relationship or not being with this person. Regardless of how much drama is going on. And it's like, that's why this Four of Pentacles is right there. It's reserve yourself for true love. Reserve yourself for true love. Wouldn't you rather be single? Only go to the altar if you can take the lead. Marriage isn't the only way to find a partner for life. Like, if you can't, listen, the things that you want, I see the two of cups. I see the courtship right here. I see change right here. I see the night of inspiration. I see someone getting over some old pastime. I see the justice. I see the two of mature. I see a lot of things that are very positive here about you. But it seems like something that you have this fix fixation on isn't necessarily positive. You do have the seven of wands here. Then you have the golden mirror. It's like you have to get to the point where. It's like some type of healthy minded thoughts. Because what you allow in your life will mirror in everything that you do. You know what I'm saying? So like if you 
can't get over the past like an old relationship if you're in prison with the thoughts of an old relationship right and it, it was toxic and it was a lot of drama and all of this stuff like that it was one-sided you love the person more than they loved you because you can't get that shit out of your mind you know, it's like the the type of love and stuff that you're attracting is mirroring this golden mirror. You understand? So because you can't get your mind off of this, everything that is coming towards you is a replica of this. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's still you're the one in love, but do they love you? Or are y'all just talking? You know what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? This golden mirror is not love. You love, but do they love? Or do they only love their own reflection? And what satisfies them? And what, you know, it's, it's something that's like about my way or the highway. Someone that is a very controlled individual. Like they have to be in control. If they don't want it, they don't want nobody else to want it type of thing. And then there's someone over here that is so loving. It's like it's like they'll cater to the person that looks into the golden mirror. They will hold the golden mirror up to this person so that they can see their own reflection more than they would actually see you. They ain't even paying attention to how much you were holding the mirror up for them so that they can admire their self. It's, it's, it's crazy. That's crazy. I feel like the people that you are talking to mirror more mirror that last individual because you're still you're still stuck thinking about that shit. That courtship, that whole thing is like still playing in your mind for some reason. And it's I want to say like your mind needs to stop going back to that place. You got to change that. And you got to reserve your thoughts and your time and your attention to attract the right soulmate and to continue to stand up for yourself and block out all of that negativity. Like you have to block that shadow away from you. Continue to let the sun shine so you can bring positive shit into your life because I would not want to be attracting a, excuse me, a one-sided relationship when I got all this love. When I got all this love, I want someone to mirror the love that I am giving out. Not the past that I'm trying to get away from. Do you understand what I'm saying? And a lot of it has to do with the things that we talk and say to ourselves. Because the things that we say, we see. And then we experience. <clears throat> marriage isn't the only way to have a partner for life so again like this to me is i don't know if you were actually married to this person but this could have been someone that you had a serious relationship with or something like that clarify love for me for pisces so what is this the Queen of Wands, okay, so we got that, what is that, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, woman here. We got the Nine of Pentacles, and then we got the King of Chalices. So here we go, Mr. Pisces. And he got the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so, <clears throat> this is where the damn failure was. I don't know, I mean, okay, so we got... <laughs> We got fire and water. Fire and water. So listen. Someone went through some type of financial. It was some type of financial withdrawal. Some, someone took some type of financial beating here. There's a financial obligation. That's here. That has something to do with the connection of these two people. 
I kind of want to figure out a little bit more. Give me guidance here on this Queen of Wands. Give me two cards for her. And then give me two cards for him. It, it's like whatever this is. With that Nine of Pentacles being in the reverse. It ain't working out. And if it is anything going on there in the relationship. It literally has to do with some type of financial obligation. That's the only thing that's keeping them together. Give me two cards for the King of uh we got the prince, the prince of chalice, and then the ten of pentacles. So this prince of chalice, this is the prince of chalices. So yeah, the prince of chalice. So like this person, I want to say that this man is still in love with the queen of wands. It's definitely still love with this Queen of Wands. Like he thinks about this person a lot. That's why I'm trying to tell you this. Like someone still traps in thinking about like trying to work this thing out with this courtship. They still want to be a family and look look at it like we would be do we would do better if we would just bring it back together. We would just come back together or something like that. Or like, let's say you guys don't know each other. Like, this man could really, really have his eyes on you, really admire you, but he might not be financially stable with that Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, you know? But this person really, really admires you and really wants to court you, but they could be trapped inside. I want to say it's like something. They cannot come towards you. They cannot court you the way that they want to court you. And clearly it's being depicted here with this nine of pentacles in the reverse. They're in like some type of financial pitfall. It don't matter how much they love you, how much they think about you and all of this stuff. And they want, you know, I mean, this person could want to give you the world, but it doesn't mean that they're financially able to do it. Uh, let's find out what's going on over here with this Queen of wands. You got the moon. Oh, Lord, and then you got the five of swords. Jesus Christ. Chow Lee. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know about this woman here. This Queen of Wands, this damn Sagittarius, goddamn. <laughs> this goddamn Sagittarius, Leo, damn Aries woman. I don't know what to say about this person. I feel like this woman is. I want to say evil. God. It's like. This woman. Is like secretive. Maybe into like. Some shit you don't know about. I, 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 I'm serious. Like this person. I don't want to say like she's out to hurt you. But she is. A very, I want to say a mean-spirited individual. Like the moon. It's like you don't never know what you're going to get with this person. One minute, this person is sweet. And then the next minute, it's like they're trying to cut your head off. Like, it's like you don't even know what you did to them. It's like this someone could talk to you like you're stupid. Or like you're, or, 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 or tell you like you're immature. Or your looks ain't everything. Or it's like, I don't know, this person it could be very demeaning. Very hurtful with this five of swords here. With this moon, it's like this person could be into like the occult or you know what I'm saying? Like they could be into shit that you don't understand or don't know. You know what I'm saying? They're into the unknown, into the unseen. So like this could be a very quiet, secretive type of person, like a very calculated I want to say withdrawn a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like an awkward quiet. I don't know. I feel like just stares at people. Just be quiet and just be stare. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I don't like that, bruh. I don't fucking like that. And I do see it's like a lot of embellishments about her. Like, very natural, but very fake as fuck, too. I don't, bruh, like, this person, I really do feel like 
the things that they say is like emotionally and mentally abusive as fuck. Like this person does not care. It's like they say whatever the fuck they feel like is their truth and they don't care about the outcome and how it hurts other people. Um, I don't want like did this did this person have something to do with this person going to prison or something to pr it's like I have a mental prison or a physical prison but like it's like something like that I still feel like this man loves this damn woman though like I feel like this woman is very mean evil and abusive to this man but he still loved this woman he still feel like they should be for y'all listen I can't Mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's something here that is not bringing this connection together number one because you should not be together that's that's number one but there's someone here that has so much genuine fucking love like i swear it's so much genuine love like literally this person is so only cares about what they want in like it's like, I love you so much. Like, I, I, I'll hold the mirror up for you. You want me to hold it up higher so you can see yourself? You need more lighting? And as soon as this person does not do what this person wants, it's like... <laughs> it's serious. It's like this, this hurtfulness. Ugh, anyway, I gotta go. Pisces, y'all already know what the deal is. Y'all let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. Peace. Jesus.